Hello and welcome back. All right, today SGC has come through for me yet again. So I have another blind reveal here. Just got the package and signed for it about 15 minutes ago. I have not looked online, so it's obviously driving crazy. Wanting to see uh, what I got on these. This is a, a real variety pack submission. I've got a couple of uh, modern stuff, and then I've got mostly some more vintage type stuff on this order. Not like real true old vintage, like, you know, the old uh, Gaudis and, you know, fun stuff like that. But I got some interesting stuff in here. I've got my list here with my predictions. I don't know if you can see that very well here, but I tried to uh, do a realistic assessment of these. And now it is... Tuxedo time. All right, let's see. Let's go here. All right, looks like the first card up is number one on my list, which my printer did not catch, so I had to write it here. It's the 2020 Beau Bichette. I can't remember if, what newer ones. That might be... No, there is a 2021 um, Jared Kelnick in here as well. So there's a couple of newer things, um, but that is definitely one of the newer cards on my list here. All right, let's set these here, I guess. All right, and we have the Griffey Jr. rookie in here, which I'm excited to see what SGC thought of the uh, PSA 4 that I sent in. I've been waiting a long time for that. All right, so let's start with this Boba Shet. It is a rookie card. It's in that classic. I think it's the um, 90s rookie design, which is I thought was pretty cool. Got my gem mint 10 on that Bichette. On the Bichette, I did think I would get a 10. So, so far one for one, which I don't expect to get all these right. All right, next one is that Jared Kelnick I talked about. That is actually number two on my list. I thought this one would get a nine and it did get a nine, which I'm happy with that. I think the centering is off just a touch. Um, I can't remember if one corner might've had a, a, just a touch of white on it, but yeah, it's a great card. I really like that one. That one's numbered out of 499. That is a rookie card for Kalnick, who's having a fantastic start to the year. All right, now I've got a Shohei Otani. This is one of the less popular rookie cards of his. This is out of the Topps Update set. The International Affair uh, Otani. And this one, I thought, had a chance at a 10. Ah, shoot, got a 9. That's okay. Still a great card. This is a personal collection card. Uh, but I did think that was 10 worthy. All right, next is the uh, Bush Mantle Jeter. That's the one I did pull out of the pack. Um, I thought this one would get a nine and it got an eight. Ooh, that is a rough one. I mean, I know these are condi condition sensitive, but I did pull that directly out of a pack and went straight into a top loader. So that's a little rough, but that's okay. You can't win them all. I'm not uh, upset at it. I did see some white on one of those corners, but I thought it was still nine worthy, but it's okay. All right, here's the big big reveal. This is the uh, 89 Upper Deck Griffey. I thought this one deserves a, a nine. It's just, this card is sharp. I mean, it's so sharp and they gave me a five. Yeah, so clearly there's something wrong with this card. So PSA gave me a four, SGC gave me a five. And the only thing I could determine on this thing, if I flip it over and look, is, is something to do with this hologram. So, it's, it's a little weird, but if you can get this at just the right angle, there is like a cut through that hologram. And I'm guessing that's why. You can't really see it on this um, picture, but yeah, something's going on there with, with this thing. And that's the only thing I could find that's flawed. I just don't understand the low grade on this card. I, I was jazzed when I got it. I thought it had a chance for a 10 and it's junk. So I don't know, what can I say? It's the way it goes, I guess. I guess the um, pull had a factory defect and it was just what it is. So, all right, let's keep moving here. So the next is a Garrett Cole. This is a, a Topps refractor. I thought this one could get a nine. Uh, this is a Cole rookie. It is a refractor. It's the Topps Chrome and it got a Gem Mint 10. So maybe they were trying to make up for my uh, Griffey that I, I did want to shed a few tears for. And I got that Cole in a 10. That's, that's a really sweet card. I like this one a lot. And so I'm back uh, on top, happy again. All right, here's a couple that I, I really didn't know how they would go. I have two 
Let me show you here. 269 Freddie Potex. That is Freddie Potex rookie card. Um, a lot of people may not be familiar with him, but he was an all-star. He was a shortstop, had a lot of speed, played for the Royals for a handful of years. Um, pretty great player overall. And I thought one of these could get a five, and I thought one could get a seven. So I'm going to do these reveals at the same time. Both sevens. That's interesting. You know what? And I'll take it because I think that's a, a fantastic grade for these cards. One of them had uh, some marks where they had cut from the factory and they had kind of a rough edge. Um, one of them had a little bit better centering than other, and I thought that one would get a higher grade. But dual sevens, I'm not going to complain. I thought one would get a five. All right, next is a really cool card. This is a Doc Ellis rookie card. It's also a 1969 that I thought would get a seven, and it receives a seven. So three for three on sevens on the 69 top set. That's a cool card. I was really hoping that Doc might sneak in at eight because it was so sharp. But yeah, you got to really watch those edges and, and look at them under the loop and you'll realize why. So, all right, here's another fun one that I, I really wanted to get, get graded. So Zoyo Versailles, he actually had an MVP season and I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot remember what year it was. It might have been 65 he was National League MVP. Um, I'm sorry, American League MVP, but I, I don't recall that 100%. Um, not a standout career outside of that, but I did think it was a cool rookie card, and I thought this one would get a six, and it got an eight. That's fantastic. That's a beautiful card. Yeah, that, that one I'm really excited about. That that was good. Thank you, SGC. I appreciate the, the generosity there. Um, it was a beautiful card. I'm just trying to get more realistic with my predictions and prevent letdowns, right? So... All right, here's another. It's a 68 Seaver. This is his Seaver second year card. I believe it is the first year card with him um, as a solo card, right? Instead of sharing the card with, um, uh, and now I'm drawing a blank on who he shares that card with. Um, it's not Kuzman, that's the Ryan. Anyway, uh, 68 Seaver, I did pick this up on eBay. When I buy cards from eBay, I don't expect a lot, and I thought this one might get a four and a half. If it was a four, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. That's okay. It's still a great card. Um, one that I really like having, and I, I will stick that with my gold rookie collection. I think I'm about 390 away from finishing that lofty goal. So, All right, and then here's the Ricky Henderson rookie card in 1980 Tops. This one I picked up at a local shop uh, just north of, of Seattle downtown. Pretty cool shop. I, I definitely want to make my way back. I think it's called card exchange i believe i'm sorry to uh, the card exchange for not being able to remember i've only been there once um i didn't pay too much for this card but i i looked at it thought it was pretty damn sharp and thought it had a chance at an eight and i got a seven i'm not surprised i knew i was trying to kid myself a little bit saying it was in a little bit better shape than it was but seven is still a fantastic grade for that ricky henderson all right next is a card for my personal collection that i've had for years it's the 88 tops bo jackson football card uh, I always liked Bo Jackson. He played for the Royals, which was my local hometown team and still my favorite baseball team. And then watching him play against the Chiefs as a Raider was, was also fun. The guy was obviously one of the, the greatest, ath just raw athletes of our generation. Uh, cool card. It did have a little stain on it, though, so I thought they might be critical to that. And I was hoping for an eight. Eight and a half. So they gave me a little bit of bump there, which again, thank you. There's that stain. You can see it really well at this angle. Happy with that one. All right, here's the usual. This one I was really excited to see as well. This was another eBay purchase. Um, I was hoping I would get a five. I know one of my uh, my friends uh, that may be watching this return to collecting, Darren, he had said he thought it would probably get a three because these were really tough grades. Uh, and so I'm hoping for a little bit better than that. And so maybe if we split the difference and it's a four. I don't know. Let's see. No, oh, we did get the five. So very happy with that. This is obviously the 60 tops. It's my only mutual card as well, which I really value this a lot. And I'm, I'm going to hang on to this. Uh, so yeah, I love that five grade. Thank you very much. All right, next is a fun card. This is a Bake McBride, Brian Downing rookie card. It also has Richard Blatt as well as Edison Armbruster. This is a 74 tops, and I thought this 74 might get a seven, and it got a six. So yeah, there you go. There was another one that I missed low on, but that's okay. It, it's a super sharp condition card, especially for 74. Um, I mean, obviously it has a couple of little minor things here or there, but I, I really thought that that McBride would get a seven, which is why I submitted it, but that's okay. Again, personal collection card. All right, and then another one that gets graded extremely tough. This is the 83 Tops Gwen. Uh, I think I thought this card could get an 
eight. Uh, if it's a seven, I'm not gonna be surprised or upset. Um, I'm hoping it gets an eight because that's where these things have a little bit of value. Outside of that, it probably would have been better off just buying it, one that was already graded. And I figured, yeah, so there's the seven. That's okay, personal collection card, one that I've always wanted ever since I was a kid. Never could find it for a, a decent price and that will go right into my personal collection. So yeah, cool reveal, very happy. Had a couple of big surprises. I'm really jazzed about that uh, Garrett Cole rookie card. Um, I thought I got great grades on the Potex and, and Doc Ellis and that Zoyo Versailles. So, for other sales, sorry. So, anyway, great uh, set all in all, and I appreciate you guys watching. Love to see your comments below.